Set the tone. Set hit. Ah, ah, quick, 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 quick. Ah, work. There you go. We got to work. Titans running back coach Tony Dews is no stranger to the ups and downs of coaching football. When you win, it feels great. Then, man, I love this job. You get beat, you sometimes drive like, why do I do this? Why do I do this to myself? But football quickly teaches you humility. We kick, we won't open the and the journey has been awesome. Real. All right, I'm gonna be the defender. Tony played multiple sports growing up. And as a young player, it was the coaches in his life who helped guide him on and off the field. They just showed a lot of care and a lot of love. They kind of were father figures. I got into coaching because I had great high school coaches and in college coaches along the way. Good protection. He completes it to dues at the 25 yard line up to the 20. We had some really, really good coaches. You know, that was one of the things that was exciting for me was to play on offense for all these guys that had played professionally or coached professionally. I knew that I could learn a lot of football and, and learn to really understand the game of football from those coaches. Complete to dues. He's at the 45, still on his feet and fights to the 39. Tony played four seasons at Liberty, earning first team All-American honors his senior year. But he would learn more than just the X's and O's of football. Tony learned that God has a game plan as well. August 16th, 1992 at Thomas Road Baptist Church. You want to be baptized. You want to get things right with God. You want to trust Christ. Come on. It was at the end of the service. He had an altar call. And I went down in front and accepted Christ. Come. You just need to come and get some things right with God. Come on, right now. And now I know as a Christian, it was the Holy Spirit that moved me. It's been a journey. I'll first say I'm a sinner saved by grace. And I had a lot of maturing to do at 18, 19 years old to get to where I am today. And I'd be lying to you if I told you that I always exhibited those Christ-like behaviors. Jim Hurley, number one. Those coaches showed their faith in Christ. It wasn't talking about it. We could see them live it daily. Coach Williams, the strength coach at the time, was unbelievable. I know I had a lot of conversations on the road in those hotels, and then he helped guide me in that way. But I'm not perfect, still not perfect, a, a work in progress, so to speak. Downfield, wide open his dues. He's got it inside the 10, touchdown. When his playing days were over, Tony would follow in the footsteps of his mentors and educate young men about football, faith, and life. I coached 20 seasons in college and was an absolute blast. I enjoy the, the recruiting, enjoy getting to know the families, the players, and the impact that you can have on some of those guys' lives as they come in as teenagers and young adults and you're trying to help them improve. All right, a break over, here we go. Going back, pick up. These players may be a little bit older, but Tony knows his responsibility as a Christian coach and mentor is the same. I pray every day to, to live and carry myself in a way that others will see Christ in me. Good technique. And if they get curious, they can come ask me and I'll have an opportunity to, to share my faith with them. All right, so we'll go to the right punch, to the left punch, and then release. As long as you put God first and everything you do, he's at the center of any decision that you make you're gonna be successful. Run, Looking downfield, wide open is Dews. He's got it inside the 10, touchdown.